Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. We have a story here, um, and I'm only saying this because it's exactly what we have been saying for such a long time. And it's why children in Scotland are being failed. It's why the education policy is so dis disruptive, so um, devolved. What's the word? Debased, I think. Debased, that's the word. Um, it's why children are just being let down left, right and centre. They're destroying education. Uh, and we know why. Well, we've always known why. But the paper here, this article, uh, just confirms what we already know. And that is that the people who are in charge of educating children are quite incapable of educating children because they don't know what they're doing. They really don't know. They seem to want to think they know, but they're basing everything on identity politics, on a, some kind of worldview that they think is the right one, but which is clearly the wrong one, as you can tell by the way the league tables are showing Scotland tumbling down faster than Homer Simpson off a canyon wall. And we're going to have a look at what can be done to rectify it. Basically, voting these idiots out and getting in someone who knows something about education. Let's have a look. So, Scottish schools are in a serious trouble because those at the top haven't got a clue about education. They are pushing children from a very young age down a line of sexualising them, pushing them on sex education, on identity politics, on being gay and lesbian and trans and all this. All this kind of thing, all the time. And here's the thing, in every single subject, you know, Johnny's got two balls and Fiona's got none, but Fiona would like some balls. How many balls must Fiona get to be like Johnny? It's as simple as that. Nothing about, you know, a, tra a train is travelling at 90 miles an hour and is 100 miles from the station. That, those days are gone. Everything now is identity politics and it's pushed in every lesson. It's all about pronouns and who you are and the things that, are, you know, that matter to other people's hurty fee fees. On the other hand, when you are to the real world and they want someone who's an engineer, a mathematician, someone who can count, someone who can read. Oh, no, no, they don't do that. Stuart Wayton, chair of the Scottish Union for Education, gives his take on the damning decline in standards under the SNP as he warns the politicisation of the curriculum and woke values being shoveled into our schools by pedos, perverts and predators. All of them, green and SNP, the lot of them. And that picture really sums up schools. God forbid you come out learning to read, write and arithmetic. No, but if you know the 57 pronouns, then you're a winner in life. Now go and get a job. And then wonder why everyone else is earning far more than you and who don't give a shit about your gender pronouns. They don't need to. They're earning 10 times as much as you, minimum wage boy. Scottish education is in serious trouble. You don't need a depressingly poor PISA scores to tell you this. Talk to a parent who has two children at very different ages and they'll tell you that within a matter of a few years, they notice the drop in standards. Talk to teachers who care about standards, who know that in English, for example, of all things, they're instructed not to mark pupils down for bad writing as long as it makes sense on first reading. Rubbish! Mark them down. They won't learn otherwise. Grammar is important. You ask a solicitor the importance of a comma and he'll tell you millions of pounds. Uh, talk to those doing teaching training at Glasgow University, for example, and listen to uh, the exasperated comments about how being a teacher is now all about social justice. Everything is about social justice, identity politics, pushing an agenda, pushing a belief that is not based on fact. It's based on the opinion of the mentally retarded. It's based on the opinion of people who you would never allow anywhere near your children. Basic rule is, if you see a teacher and they, they call themselves anything other than Mr or Miss, Sir, or something like that, and they insist that you call them Dave, and that, you know, it's a woman in a dress, it's a man in a dress, or he got purple hair, things like that, don't let your children anywhere near them. They're predators. Part of me wouldn't care that political and emotional correctness has taken over the education sector if it didn't mean the standards were collapsing, but collapsing they are. There are many reasons for this, but loosely speaking, the problem is that the people running our education institutions no longer have a clue about what education actually is. And in fact, it's worse, he says, than that. 
Some of them know that education is or should be. Or some of them know what education is or should be, but think that it's a problem. What education is or should be is a problem. How dare you teach people? How dare you give this child an advantage over that child? Because now that child has been taught. It knows things. That's not fair. Because this child is cleverer and brighter and has parents who've invested in a book. What an unfair world we live in where one child is better than another, is cleverer. Therefore, rather than raising this child up, you bring this child down. You hobble the bright so to not to upset the hurty fifis of the thick and ignorant. That's the world we're living in. Uh, anyway, they said it's all about, in the bad old days, it was all about standards and knowledge and actually having to learn facts and ideas that dinosaurs from the dark ages have produced. Imagine having to know stuff to pass exams and gain qualifications. But don't worry about that. We'll soon see exams being banned in schools and universities. It's all about inclusion, you understand, whatever that means. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because when you go to uh, when you go to hospital to have a, a major operation and that, you want to know that the, the guy operating on you knows all 57 genders. It's not important, of course, that he's actually passed an exam and is actually capable of doing the exam. He's inclusive. Yes, this is Steve. He's, Steve. he's not very good, a bit thick. But he's got he's got a problem with his hands, but we can't stop him being a surgeon as he's going to operate on your child's brain because otherwise, you know, we'd be seen as being a bit ist and phobe against shaky fuckwits. That's where we're at now. People will die because of fuckwittedness, but the real fuckwittedness is coming from the very top. Uh, check out the Standard for Headship document, the General Teaching Council uh, for Scotland's Guide to inspiring world-class teaching. You have to say it with a sunny voice because that's how these people speak. We're going to empower your children. You're going to educate them. No, we don't educate children anymore. We empower them. We're inclusive. Yeah, but will they actually come out of school with qualification? No, we don't believe in qualifications anymore. That's where you're at with kids. It's no wonder kids are coming out thick as blanks, isn't it? Um, you know, sausage factories put shit in, shit comes out. It literally is. Um, here we find what teaching is not about developing excellence in education, in historical knowledge, in maths, in English and so on. It's now about sustainability, inclusion, diversity, understanding trauma and committing to social justice. If you have a child of school age or a grandchild of school age, take them out of school, educate them at home, give them a real education. Because I tell you what, you will stand them in good stead. They will look back at you years later and go, Thank you, Mum. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Granddad. Whoever it is. Because they will be the ones walking in to the high-paid, high-powered jobs, leaving minimum wage bozos coming out of state education who do know their 57 genders, but can't read and don't know how to count um, and won't be trusted with operating anything more complex than a clipboard and a button that they can push. Basically, anything that can be AI'd, they just won't have a job, will they? And it's, it's so easy to educate children. Children's brains are like little sponges, right? We all know, swear once. We know, they look, little brains are like sponges. And the more you put in and the younger you put it in, the more that the sponge can grow and the more that they can learn. But when you are going in and all you're teaching them is, now, hey, you tell me how you feel when you touch yourself. And this is... Uh, this is Charlie, but he's Charlie with an I, uh, but he likes to be known as a girl now. So we call him her from tomorrow and all that bollocks. Meanwhile, you ask them, you know, give me a standard deviation on, on this set of numbers. Oh, I don't know what that means. No, of course you don't. Of course you don't. Education policy in Scotland now is not to educate. It is to, to brainwash, to gaslight, to mould in the image of these mentally ill and dangerous predators that call themselves educators or politicians. Because that's all they are. Predators, pedos and pervs. And that's what's running Scotland. And that is why your children are coming out unsuited for the modern world. You go to Japan. Do you know how they learn in Japan? They sit in a desk. Boom, 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 boom. They learn by rote. They come out. They are advanced. Now, you might say shit schooling, but they're educated. They're very educated. None of this European, oh, well, we all have to be modernised and in and inclusive and shit. No, none of that. None of that at all. Makes your choice. 
and pays your money and walks away with thick kids. Try to do better, people. Vote elsewhere. Stop letting these pedos, pervs and predators have access to your children. Anyway, I shall stop there. I shall finish. I shall come up and we shall finish the video. But it goes to show how dangerous these people are. What they're putting into children's minds. It's awful. Coming up. So will schools get any better if Labour get in? Probably not. They're just as bad. They're all left wing and pushy. It is terrible. You need to stop voting though. You need to stop voting for pervs and pedos and predators. And that really is the SNP and the Greens. They're the ones destroying education. You want to just hope that somebody in Labour has at least the strength to say, look, we can't keep this up. It's got to go elsewhere. We've got to change something. Or better still, better still, let head teachers have full say. Stop letting politicians decide what needs to be taught in school and certainly make sure that the standards for exams rise and that if a school fails to meet a minimum standard, then you fire the head teacher. That is the way of bringing up standards. Fire the head teacher. If the head teacher knows the job's on the line, let me tell you, there'll be a lot less wank wokery and a lot more reading, writing and arithmetic. Won't there? Is it just me or does common sense make sense? Who knows? Anyway, I shall stop now. Thank you very much. This will be the last one of the day. I'm going to go off. Millions of things to do. Still got loads of videos to do, you know, but I'm not going to do them today. They'll be tomorrow. And who knows? They make chop and change. But definitely do please hit the subscribe button. We want to get to 9,000 for Christmas. And I will speak to you later. Thank you and goodbye.